Welcome to the Live Wire. My name is Kirsten Kire. I'm from the Belt College of Business, and today we're going to be talking about our MBA program at UNC Charlotte. I have two special guests with me today, and I'll be introducing them both. First, we have Kirk Beatty, who was recently honored by the Belt College of Business as an outstanding alumni advocate, and thank you for being here today. He received a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science um, with a minor in Business in 1987 and also his MBA in 2010 from the Belt College of Business. He is Principal and Owner of Data Tech Information Services Incorporated. And we also have Jeanette Friedman who graduated with her MBA from UNC Charlotte in 2014. You're a Compliance Officer at TIA Craft and an active member of our Belt College Alumni Council. Thank you for being here today too. Thank you. So we're going to ask a couple questions about the program, and feel free to, um, you know, we'll just have a conversation about it. So first and foremost, you both have um, been through the program at the MBA program. How have you seen the university really change over the time that you were both here and then when you left and you've come back? How has it really changed and evolved? And maybe, Jeanette, you can get us started. Sure, sure. Mine was more recent. So. Sure. Maybe not quite as many changes as Kirk has seen, but just coming here today, um, what I noticed was the construction on campus here. So I went to school uptown at the uptown campus, which was great and very convenient. Um, but the campus here with football and sports has really created a community. And even at the graduate level, um, it's really uh, makes you feel connected to the university even after you've, you're no longer in school. And so that's been really great, I think, mm -hmm. a big change. And it fits Charlotte, who's also growing, and mm -hmm. you know, it's growing to meet the needs of the community, which is amazing. And Kirk, what would you add? And to uh, echo that, the construction has really changed from when I took, uh, did my undergraduate here. And to that extent, even as I was coming on campus, the, there's another outer ring of buildings that I walked through that, I, that weren't there when I was doing my undergraduate. So that's really changed. And of course you have the, the new uh, basketball arena, the new student life activity center, the, um, and, and uh, apartments and, and uh, dorms for, for student living. And of course the football program is one of the biggest changes. So now you have tailgating before games and you know, the alumni tents and the games are real <coughs> energetic. So that, that's a big change. And, uh, and then of course the, when I did my graduate, I was going uptown at, on the Tryon Street there at the Mint, I believe it was. And now we have the Center City, camp, uh, well, Center City up, Uptown Campus. So we have that building and mm -hmm. that's going to, we were talking about before here, uh, before the program started, how the rail line is going to connect the two campuses. So that's, that's a real nice change. And then on top of that, there's many more um, programs, degree programs, that, that the university has brought online. So if you both can tell us a little bit about your MBA experience in particular, um, why, maybe if you can both tell us why you decided to pursue an MBA. So Jeanette, would you like to get us started? Sure. Um, well, there was an economic turndown, <laughs> and uh, it was hard to find work. And what I was finding was, despite that I had lots of experience, I was kind of being kicked out of those automatic screeners for your resume, because I didn't have those three little letters on it. And so I was really motivated. That was my only motivation at that point, was I need three letters on my resume. And I was really surprised by how much I learned and gained from the program. Like, I really wasn't expecting that. I thought the experience equals degrees mm -hmm. and what reality is is that experience plus degree really makes you a quality um, person for a company to mm -hmm. bring up in the organization so I gained tons from the experience but the motivating factor was simply to get those three little letters and I'm really glad that I was motivated to do that. What was your experience? Here? Well in my case <clears throat> the MBA was always part of the overall plan and so that's one of the reasons for my business concentration during my undergraduate years. Um, and, and as I was telling you earlier, I was actually enrolled a couple years after I finished my undergraduate degree for the MBA program, but life moving me out of the area, I withdrew, and, and I just never got back to it. And what, but it was always one of them things nudging at you, saying you left something undone. So finally, I, <clears throat> I, I just looked into it again, and I chose the Uptown campus because it just, for me, it was a good fit uh, coming to the Uptown campus. But um, and some of the things you were talking about, at that time, it was 2007, so we were just getting into the uh, economic recessions. Our business was doing okay, and so I felt like I had the time. And of course, as we went through the program, our, my, our business actually picked up a little bit there at the uh, 2010 when I was finishing up, it really picked up real well. And uh, so, but that was, what we see in business and a lot of 
the people I see interviewing and so forth, they have graduate degrees. Mm -hmm. So the, the bar has been raised to a certain extent mm -hmm. where what you're talking about, having the, that graduate degree, whether it's an MBA or, or what have you, I think is uh, makes a difference. Not not to discredit the undergraduate by any means, but I think that graduate degree is, is going to make a difference going forward because so many people um, have those degrees today. And why do you th both think that UNC Charlotte was, was the best choice for you? Maybe if you can describe that. Jeanette? Sure. I did lots of research. That's who I am. <laughs> and I immediately kicked out online programs that were strictly online because it's just not the way that I learn. I need interaction and I'm a procrastinator <laughs> and I knew that that just wouldn't work for me. So then I looked at the other local mm -hmm. schools and really for the price and the quality of the education and the availability of things that I really wanted um, in the program, UNCC, the Belt College had all of those in spades. So it made the decision super easy for me to make. Uh, uh, some of the same things. I, mine was quality, price, and uh, convenience. And the quality was uh, on par with anyone else. And again, I looked, I did the same kind of thing. I did the research. I looked at Wake Forest, uh, Pfeiffer, I believe, even Carolina. And, and I just found UNC Charlotte being, from a quality standpoint and a price and convenience, it, nothing else just uh, met that criteria. And so uh, I would, uh, just based on those three factors, UNC Charlotte, and, and then of course the Belt College and everything that we've done over the years has a, is a real draw for, for the program. And I might add one more thing, um, and, and I don't know for you, but for me, I'm not from Charlotte, but I intend to stay in Charlotte. And so I wanted to build a community of people in Charlotte and network, which I didn't have. I didn't know anybody. Mm -hmm. So going to a local school with local people and local professors and really did the job. It was really what I was looking for. And to speak to that a little bit, and I'm sure you probably experienced the same thing. Uh, in the classroom experience, uh, and I wanted that as well. I, I didn't want a, the online learning because I wanted the experience of the class. I wanted the input from the professors, the, uh, the other students. And your students here, you have a whole spectrum uh, across the age spectrum from people coming right out of the, the undergraduate and then people like myself who had been in business for a while. And then, of course, there were some that was even uh, a little bit more senior than I was. So you had that whole spectrum of different perspectives, different career paths coming together in, in one program. And so you, oftentimes the classroom experience and the discussions that would take place were just really energetic. Okay. Would you both have an example for us of, of, of the curriculum, of the classroom experience that might give us, that's a great uh, insight into the network but uh, would you say anything about the professors or the, the fellow colleagues that you took the program with? What would you add about that that was unique? A plus, I would say, for one. Um, mm -hmm. I had all really good professors, mm -hmm. even subject matter that I went in with. Gosh, this one's not really interesting to me. Mm -hmm. The classes ended up being very interesting. The dialogue, as you spoke of in the class, the interaction with the other students, the projects that were group-based added so much, and I learned so much about different aspects of business that I may not work in day to day, but my understanding of them adds to my work. So it was all really quality. It, it really was. And, and then to go back, and whether it was a marketing plan or um, business strategy, it, it took advantage of the, um, the, the math that you learned along the way mm -hmm. and how that really can help you justify and, and explain what you need to do and, and help you with programs. And then uh, at, uh, to speak to some of what you were talking about, the uh, professors, I found them all to be extremely uh, high quality. And then after the fact, as you get engaged with the university and, and the Belt College in, in particular and go to events, you know, they, re they remember you. They, they remember, in my case, there's a couple of remember specific, specific projects we worked on. And, um, and they stay engaged with you and they want you to stay engaged with them and the university and, and they're highly interested in what you're doing after, after you, you know, they've seen you in class and you've moved on. They stay really interested in what you're doing after the, after the uh, graduation. And the same experience. I just had coffee with Dr. Amato a few weeks ago just mm -hmm. to catch up and they are very interested in you. And they also <coughs> do a good job of bringing the Charlotte community into the classroom, guest speakers they, they or do. projects or um, it was really easy to stay on the pulse of what's going on in Charlotte, the airport project. We'd have people come talk about what's going on there, all sorts of things that was really unique to Charlotte specifically, which I think is a huge add. In the uh, marketing class I took, a project, one of the projects we did, it was for Hildreth uh, here in Charlotte, and they're a moving storage type company. And we did a project for them, and I was able, I was the one who went on site with, at their facility and met with, with their general manager. And, and got some of the insights that we needed to, to complete our, our 
uh, project. And of course, he came and spoke to us before I think we even selected our projects. But uh, so we selected their project <clears throat> and, uh, and we pursued it. And that was a good engagement and you got you out into the community meeting with other business leaders and then even afterwards I was able to stay engaged to a certain extent. So that, that's uh, the way this program brings in others the community outside and the business leaders to come in and support what we're doing and you're doing actual real business uh, projects. It, it's real, real rewarding. Really good description of the connections then that this program really has. That's very helpful. Did you both pursue a particular concentration in the program? I know there's multiple tracks that you can do with the MBA. Did you pursue a particular concentration with yours? Well, mine was international business and okay. uh, you know, I'm uh, the bulk of our business is IT, and so today you can be anywhere doing IT, and, and we actually have a team in China. And the China team came into place uh, after, right, actually after we were, after I finished my MBA, or as I was completing that last mm -hmm. semester, we had a project that came online with us, and we needed that offshore team, so we went and put that together. And so the international business perspective really just helped and you know, add to your, your knowledge and your capabilities for interacting in the, in the global business. I accidentally got one. <laughs> I actually got international business as well. I had intended to get a general MBA and stay a generalist, um, but I have a huge fascination with other cultures and travel and my personal hobbies, and I ended up being drawn towards classes in those subject matters, and before I knew it, I had a concentration. So I don't use it in my work, but I do use it in my personal life, believe it or not. So it's, it's Fun. You really can do what you're interested in doing, and they allow a lot of flexibility with the concentrations to fit your needs of your work or your desires. So, um, if someone's interested in doing that, there's lots of options. And so now we're going to reflect a little bit. Now that you've completed it, it's it's you know behind you now. Mm -hmm. The MBA, the classroom experience. How have you used this in your work world and your professional life? Um, as you reflect back, has it has it really applied to what you're doing at work? So. You know, it has. I think um, one of the emphasis that I picked I picked up on and as we was going through the program was the the, uh, the the I guess the benefits of diversity and bringing in the diversity of different peoples and different cultures and and actually in our business we deal with that on a regular basis and then to have them come in and work for you and and to get involved with the diversity in the community really adds value to to your organization. So that was one of my takeaways. And then to speak a little bit to one of the classes, I think um, uh, back to the program and, and the you know, the inter international business aspect of it, we were allowed to have some um, electives where we could substitute with abroad trips. And uh, I took advantage of that, and that was another uh, you know, real insight to, uh, to something that you just wouldn't get if you didn't take advantage in, in the university or the, the program didn't offer that kind of uh, you know, extracurricular, or, or I, I guess it wouldn't be extracurricular activities, but just doing something different than just going to a regular class. But, what was an example of that? If you could, what, is it, was, did you actually go to another? Yeah, I went to uh, Dubai oh, as well as Moscow, and of course we had our class responsibilities. But then uh, I was, being I was already in business, and and uh, I was always looking at what kind of business opportunities that was taking place around me. So, uh, so so for me, I was kind of double dipping and taking care of the class responsibility for getting a couple classes out of the way for taking these trips, as well as just. You know, is there some opportunity for my organization uh, as we went abroad? Jeanette, what did you find afterwards? Well, I'll answer that question, but we, I also did the trip abroad um, to mm -hmm. Rio, which uh, was a real estate study class, which real estate in Rio is really interesting right now given the Olympics and the World mm -hmm. Cup. So highly recommend those classes if you can use them. I'd, I'd take advantage <laughs> in any program. If they offer abroad trips, I would jump on that. It's and an amazing definitely experience. Go. It is. Mm -hmm. Um, but to your question about, you know, did I, what did I, how did I apply it? Um, and, and you said after I'm done looking back, but the truth is I applied it all along. Um, surprisingly, you'd leave a class and the next day at work, something would come up, would directly apply to what you learned the evening before and um, immediately applied it and still do. So extremely on, <coughs> useful for on the job. Here recently, I found myself going back to one of my classes. It was the organizational development leadership class because of some challenges that were going on in, in my organization. And I was pulling up some of the, um, you know, what we did in that class. And, uh, and that was real beneficial. And that's just how I'm still using it today and going back. I, I keep you know, all my classes I have in folders on my laptop. So when I need to go back for something, mm -hmm. I'll go back and pull up, you know, what did we do in this class and what did we look at? And sometimes I'll review the, the study materials for the exams and you know, they'll have some 
I'll say, oh yeah, that's what it was, and then I'll go, <laughs> go look, it, look it up a little bit more. So I use it on a regular basis from time to time for uh, you know, insights to just business, everyday business problems to, uh, you know, for planning for strategy and so forth. So what would you both tell others that are considering the program, knowing that you, know, you both had different experiences, um, there were probably many different experiences of people that you saw in your cohort, but what would you tell people that are considering it, but they might be on the fence or they're not sure? What would you tell them to kind of convince them? Well, I would say, for one, just do it. And there might be a commercial with just do it or something <laughs> like that. But, but uh, in my case, I think I was speaking to you a little earlier about uh, when I was back doing my undergraduate and I was planning on doing my, my MBA, I really didn't add, see that much value. I just It was just something else to achieve, another thing to check off that you were, you know, said you was going to, do, to go do. But after going through the program and experiencing it, I now, my preference for anyone coming into a management role in my, my organization, is, especially a senior management role, would, would be to have an MBA because I, the, the value I found in the program is it just really was night and day from what I it was expecting going into the program. Even though I, I, you know, I researched it and I knew what kind of quality, and, and you, you see what you see when you read about it, but then to experience it and see what you actually get out of it, um, I just highly value the program. So for anyone who's thinking about it, especially if their career really is anything to do with business, um, I would say you know, definitely, most definitely go do it because it, it's going to be well worth it and you're, you're just going to reap the rewards from, from, you know, throughout your career. Well, I guess my advice, I agree with all of what you said, Kirk, but I would also add that, you know, whatever your concerns are that's stopping you from doing it, talk to the university because I had concerns. I was a, concerned I couldn't afford it. I was concerned I couldn't do it while I worked full time. It was too much. I was concerned that, you know, there wouldn't be, it wouldn't get much out of it. Uh, I was concerned about the GMATs. It was all sorts of things that were concerned. And when I brought those concerns to the university and the people who we could talk to about those sort of things, um, there's, there's a solution. There's a solution for everyone's concerns. Um, there are people in the program that, you know, juggling their families, juggling full-time jobs. They're, you know, you, you can do it at your pace. You can do it the way you customize it to your life. And so, you know, instead of just dismissing it and saying, I can't do it, I think I would advise, hey, talk to someone and see if that's true because there are a lot of options that can help people get through that program. And to, sp to speak some of that, I know in my case I had a good example that you can go back and, and get your degrees while you're working and raising a family. My mother not only a, achieved her um, you know, undergraduate, she also received her, her master's when we were, you know, after she had a family and, and had children. So, but, but you know, it can be a lot of work. You, you just really have to be, you have to have, decide you want to do this because there's going to be a plenty of time or plenty of time spent studying and you're either going to be working or studying and then trying to fit in life and every family and everything else. But you can definitely do it if you want to do it. So uh, moving on a little bit to, I think, um, other sides of, of what you both have here today, and that would be your involvement with the Belt College Alumni Council. If you could tell us a little bit about why being involved now as an alumnus, as alumni, is important to you. Why, why is that important? Well, in my case, it, it gave me a chance after my undergraduate, I really just wasn't that connected to the university. And when they offered the opportunity for the to be on the alumni council, I thought, you know, that there's a chance for me to try to reconnect with the university and, and see what more I can get out of, out of the university or, or from that connection. And really, it's been the other way around. Um, I, you know, I do uh, well. I do get a great deal out of it. It's from the networking opportunities, it's from how much the Belt College stays engaged with their alumni and how much they want to stay engaged. And then the events that you can have the opportunity to go uh, participate in, whether it's graduation events and whether it's doing volunteering events, it just allows you to re-engage with the community or be as engaged as you want to be. And, and I just found that to be highly rewarding, and uh, especially as you can try to contribute to other people trying to do the same thing, and especially the new alumni coming out of you know, their undergraduate degree and they're just trying to get their career started and they're looking for any kind of advice and assistance and, and you, so you can uh, you know, share that with them and share some of your experience and, and that everyone's always extremely interested to hear you know, what else it's a waiting for them that, that you can add, you know, shed some light on. I agree with all that. It is a give and take and you get as much as you give but the bottom line is it's just fun. I mean, so I'm working on our um, council retreat that we're doing and the Belt College Days, which is the football tailgate. Mm -hmm. um, hardly a hard job. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. 
and you meet great people and you make good connections and you know work on your network which is so important in Charlotte and so you know, that's why I, I think it's a lot of fun I love to give back I like to mentor mm -hmm. I like to be involved I like to stay busy mm -hmm. um, so that's why I do it but you don't have to be on the council to enjoy those things we do programming we do events um, recently at TI Cref, uh, the council came in, you were there, um, and we did a lunch event where we had Dr. Kohut come speak to the employees at TI Cref about his specialties. And so there's all sorts of ways to be involved with the university that um, can be rewarding and fun and not just work. <laughs> it, it really is. You can make as much out of it as you want to, and, uh, and, and it's just nice to have the Belt College and the University provide you that opportunity. What's a surprise that you both um, may, you know, may not have associated UNC Charlotte with or the Bell College of Business or the MBA program, but now that you're an alum, you want to tell people about this particular part of the university or the college? You know, sometimes it, being here, and you know, in my case, I grew up in the area, so I've known about UNC Charlotte you know, essentially you know, throughout my life. But then to find other people throughout the country that you meet from time to time, they know about the area, know about the college and everything, the university. You know, that's one of the, you kind of think, oh, wow, they, they do know about us. And uh, so that's, you know, sometimes you feel like you be, have been, been here being so local to a certain extent. You think it's all local, but then you realize how, how much of a reach we do have. So that's always pleasing to hear. Yeah, I would say I was surprised. And I'm a transplant, and I know a lot of transplants are probably watching um, the quality. Like, I think... You think the local college just so somehow isn't going to be as good as the big names, you know, the Dukes of the world. And I um, went to a big name undergrad, and I would say on par. I mean, the quality, amazing. And you also get the local experience. You get the, the personalized attention. You get the customization. You get, like, all the bells and whistles. Mm -hmm. And um, I was surprised, and I want people to know how quality it is and how... They, they really are in competition with some of the great programs out there, and so take a look and, and see. Mm. And, and you know, we're right here in Charlotte, and there's such a thriving business community, and, and <clears throat> the the Bell College is so in, integrated and involved with that business community. So it really supports the business community and gives uh, it, you know, gives the Bell College an opportunity to serve those who, who are with yeah. who are in the area, and, and they do a good job at it. So if you had to describe in one word kind of your Belt College experience so far, what, what would that one word be? I'll let you go first. Oh. <laughs> For me, I guess maybe fulfilling. You know, it, it's been, it, it's met all my expectations and, and then some. And I've advanced in my career and I've made a good network and I have some great friends. I mean, I, I couldn't have fulfilled any more of my boxes if, <laughs> if I, you know, if I tried. So it, fulfilling. And I'd echo everything she said, as well as, uh, you know, it's kind of phenomenal in my case because I was just so much su pleasantly surprised with how much I got out of the program compared to what I was expecting when I went into it. So again, I was just expecting it to be just another certificate on my wall, d degree on my wall that I could uh, turn to. But really what, what I gained and going to class, I enjoyed that the whole, from the time I started, the time I end, I enjoyed coming to class virtually every time. I, I don't think I ever regret it having to go come into Charlotte and go to class. So I, I enjoyed the entire experience. Surprisingly, I miss it. <laughs> I'd almost, be honest with you, I'd almost like to do it again or, or do something something similar so I can just stay engaged in, in some fashion with other people taking classes or something like that. And, and I have taken advantage of the uh, executive uh, uh, classes that are now being presented. So that, that was also extremely rewarding. So there's opportunities and, and I find myself looking for those opportunities for you know, some kind of opportunity to engage and to learn more than what I did before I, I, I went through the MBA experience. Well, I'm glad you said that because you know, the Belt College is really trying to be a solution for every stage really of a career. And so executive education is really a new area, as, as you said, Kirk. So speaking of classes, let's go take a look at the Belt College um, MBA website so people can have a look at how they could find more information about the program. So online here we have mba.uncc.edu where you can find out the latest information sessions, you can request more info, and you can actually apply if, you are, if you're ready to make that, make that leap. So is there anything that you would both add to what we've talked about today that I haven't asked that you'd like to include in, in our final comments here? Well, I know in, in my case, as I already alluded to, I was just extremely pleased with the, the total experience. 
and the, the interaction from the professors, from the other students, and really just the opportunities you had to, to make as much as you wanted to make out of going through the program, going through the experience. And then after that, after the words, the, the Belt College is so inviting to stay engaged. And so there's opportunities to stay engaged, to develop your network. And, and I have found it just to be extremely pleasing and rewarding to, uh, to interact with the Belt College and, and everyone else who's gone through the program. One thing I thought um, we hinted on is that we both worked during the program, mm -hmm. and, and probably a lot of people have that concern. And um, the program's really designed for you can do full time and, and do it really fast, or you can do part time. Um, I think it took me three and a half years. Um, mm -hmm. I started off really slow, and then I got impatient and kind of speeded it up. But you can go at your own pace. What's going on in your life? So um, the classes, a lot of classes are up town. They're at night. Mm -hmm. That fits really well after work hours. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot. Don't get me wrong, it's a lot of hard work, but it fits really nicely. So for those it, it that you know, are concerned really about does. that, I think that it's very achievable to do it. It, it really is. The, uh, now I think for the most part, the, the program here has mostly leaned towards the evening classes, even though I think there are classes perhaps during the afternoons or so forth. Um, but I found that also, it, it's just, it, it really fits the working person who, who wants to go back and achieve their MBA. It, it really fits their, their life, I, I think it does. Well, I want to thank you both for your time today. You. I hope that everyone you. is as, you know, kind of inspired by you as I am. So, well, well, I know if you go through the program and, and, and get involved with UNC Charlotte, as you can speak to, you'll want to just stay involved. Well, thank you again. That's all the time we have today for the Live Wire. Thanks for joining us, and tune in next time.